Hello everybody, so today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about application of derivatives. So now I will show you the answer from question number one to question number four. Question number one, we need to find about the streamers. So the first thing we need to find first derivative of the function with respect with s and first derivative of the function with respect of y for s in this situation s is the variable y is the number so in this situation we need to do first derivative of s to the power of 3 you got about 3 s square s square in here you got about 2s y and this one just likely the number so this one you got about 0 with this y so we have this one this one and this one s to the power of 3 just likely the number so we don't need to write in here first derivative of y you got about 1 and you got about s square first derivative this one you got about to y and this one you got about number 2 later that we create the system of equation so we put this one equals to number 0 And this one equals to number zero. So for the first one, we can see that we can do about factorization. That should be about s multiplied with three s plus two y equals to number zero. So we got about s equals to number 0. If we got about s equals to number 0, we put number 0 going here. And we got about 2y plus 2 equals to number 0. So we got about y equals to negative number 1. So we just got about one couple solution in here. The next one, 3s plus 2y equals to number 0. So we can put about y equals to, we put 3s on the right and we divide both sides with number 2. So we put this one going here. So we have two solutions. That's e about number two and number one. So we put number two and number one go back in here and we can find the value of y. That's e negative number three and negative number 3 over 2 so we can write the answer in here Question number two, find the maximum and the minimum point. So we do the same technique. We need to find first the derivative of the function with respect of, with respect with s and with respect with y. So you go about first the derivative of s 
to the power of 3, you got about 3s square. First, the derivative of s, you got about number 1. This one, negative 15. Now, we go first, the derivative with respect of y. This one, you got about 6sy. This one, you got about negative number 12. So we put about f of s, f of y equals to number 0 and 0. For the second equation in here, we put negative number 12 on the right, divide both sides with number 6, and we got about y equal to 2 over s. So 2 over s, we put inside the y in here. We divide both sides with number 3. This one you got about 4 over s square minus number 5. We multiply both sides with s square. This one you got about negative 5 s square. So this one we have the solution s square equals to number 4 s square equals to number 1 so that means we have s equals to positive and negative number 2 s equals to positive and negative number 1 now, we need to determine which one is about maximum, which one is about minimum. So, we have this one in here. So, we need to find f, s, s, f, y, y, and f, s, y. This one, we need to find first the derivative of s. So you got about 6 s y y you got about 6 s s y you got about 6 y so we have d equals to f s s multiplied with f y y minus f s y to the power of 2 so we put this one multiply together minus six y everything to the power of two. So this one you got about thirty six s square minus thirty six y square. So if you want to find the value of y, you need to use that. We have s equal to positive and negative number 2. We put this one go back to here. And we can find the value of y for symbol. We put number 2 in here. y is equal to number 1. Similar for negative number 2. Number 1 we put in here. y equals to number 2 s equal to num negative number 1 y equal to negative number 2 now we consider 4 points in here
if we put number two in here, number one in here, D is greater than number zero, and we put S equals to number two, go to F S S. We see that six multiplied with number two, you got about twelve. That mean F S S is greater than number zero. So we can say this is about minimum. Similar for the next one, we put negative number two, negative number one go to D. So you got about D is greater than number zero, but F S S is about smaller than zero. This is about maximum. If we put this one go to D, both of them they are smaller than zero. So we can say they are shadow points. And this is the answer for the question. Now let's go to number three. We do the same technique. So we do first the derivative of this one. Later that we do first the derivative of this one. The next one, we do first the derivative of e to the power of neg negative y. You go about negative e to the power of s minus y. So we do first the derivative of this one. You go about negative 4y e to the power of s minus y. So we put two equations equals to number zero. So this one equals to number zero. And this one equals to number zero so we can do about factorization of e to the power of s minus y similar for the second one So we got this one equals to number zero and this one equals to number zero. So we put this one on the right. So you got about negative four y equals to s square minus 2y s square oh sorry 2y square so we put negative 4y to replace this one so we put this one on the right like that we divide both sides with number 4 So we put this one y equals to 1 over 2 s go in here
this one we got about 1 over 4 so we have 2 divided by 4 you got about 1 over 2 s square plus 2s so you got about 1 over 2 s square plus 2s so we got two solution Later that we do about D again. So you do the same technique on the question number two. After that we put S equal to negative number four. This one you got about D is greater than number zero. And we put FSS is smaller than number 0. So this is about maximum. The value of the maximum in here. That's about 8 over e to the power of 2. Because we find s equal to negative number 4, we put negative number 4 go back in here. So you got about y equals to negative number 2 about s equals to number 0 you got about d is smaller than number 0 so that means that this is about shadow boy now we go to the last one I will write about f of s y so that should be about first derivative of f of first derivative with respect of s and of y this one you got about 4 s to the power of 3 12 s y square 24 s square this one similar so we put this one equals to number zero this one equals to number zero So I will concentrate for the second one. We can do about factorization and then we divide both sides with number 4. So this one y equals to number 0. When y equals to number 0 we put in here you got about s square and s to the power of 3 we divide both sides with number 4 and we do factorization with s square So this one we have two solution s equals to number zero s equal to negative number six so the second one if we want to find both of them equals to number zero y equals to number zero s equals to number zero but we just have s equal to number zero y equal to number zero in here 
so we just have two couples in here that's it about zero zero and negative number six zero now we need to find the So we have S S. So we do this one. I will copy in here. So S S you got about twelve S square plus twelve Y square plus forty eight S. F Y Y, you will got about trail Y square plus trail S square minus F S Y. So this is about twenty four S Y to the power of two. So we put s and y going here this boy is smaller than zero so this is about shadow boy this one you got about b is richer than number zero and we got about f s s is richer than number zero so this is about minimum I need to add this about this one this one b equals to number zero y we put number zero going here 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 and here you got about d equals to number zero but if we put the point in the program let's say this is about shadow point but on the calculator, we cannot determine this one is about maximum, minimum, or shadow point. But this point is about shadow point. This is the end. Thank you for watching.